I wake up, lights flash. Camera's on, my mask. I thought it would help. Maybe it'll ease the tension. A life of my own, I could live in another dimension. See, I thought it was free, like a charge no sentence. Now I'm suffering the consequences of my bad decisions. Been hooked since 13. No cartoons on my TV screen. I just lust for another and one after another. Like I'm walking in a wet dream. I couldn't control what was raging inside of me. So porn swooped in and lied to me. Told me, I'll give you all you want and more than you can handle. Now looking back, I wish I would have changed the channel. I was holding the remote. I was moving the mouse. I was there by myself, all alone in the house. No one could see me. It's like I didn't exist. And there in that moment, I could create my own happiness. But I let my want-tos turn into half the habits. I let my hormones change into habits. It's like I took lust and made it into a project. It's like I took woman and made her into an object. I let the industry's inconsistencies fuel my insecurities until I was nothing. It owned me. I went from satisfied to lonely. I went from filled up to empty, because what they promised me ain't what they give me. It was never enough, but that's the catch. They give you a taste so you'll chase what's next. And I can't even measure the damage, because I let it creep on in and corrupt my marriage. My adulterous heart weighed her on an unfair scale. Now those baby you're beautifuls are just lies I tell. I let moments of bliss turn into years of agony because I couldn't shake these shackles that was nagging me. And now I have two kids. You guessed it, girls. So now what am I supposed to tell them when I tell them about the world? How am I supposed to tell them about what kind of man they should seek when I can't find that man in myself? It's hell, I need help. But I'm too ashamed to share because girls don't want to hear it and guys don't care. It's as if we'd rather sweep it under the rug. But I can't walk in my backyard from the holes I dug. So I avoided all of the hypocrites and the judgmental stares. And I took it to the Lord in prayer. For years and years I was fed lies, starving for love but couldn't find it with my eyes. Wide open, not going, I see the flaws in their disguise. And I really didn't understand love until I grasped why Christ died on the cross. There was something missing inside of me. It was something I lost. But Jesus gained it back when they nailed him to that tree. And he didn't do it for himself. He did it for me. So what was your definition of love? From what book was your premise made? Because I've been reading for years and can't find the page. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Because God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So sin no longer has power over me. That debt has been paid. And there's no room for that in my heart because there's a new life that's been made. I went from broken and tarnished to healed and restored. I was quiet in the dark, but the dark is no more.